Hello, this is the Ted and Savages movie review. Let's start with Ted. <laughs> to me, it was like Family Guy, 30 years later, with Stewie, and he's Teddy Bear Rupert. That's what it was like with me. All the pot smoking, and even the music was spot on to Family Guy, in my opinion. Everything was like... I don't know. I'm a big Family Guy fan, as I'm sure a lot of the people who went to go see Ted were, too. And it was just... It was amazing. Like, Seth MacFarlane is the shit. I was laughing so fucking hard in this film. I, w I want a teddy bear like that. I want a best friend like Ted, but in plush form. <laughs> I think it would be fun. Uh, minus all the drug and illegal shit, of course. <laughs> but I still think it'd be fun and entertaining to have a talking teddy bear. Hopefully... It uh, I think it probably give my mom a heart attack, though. <laughs> but uh, as far as the uh, jalapenos are concerned, give it five jalapenos, five big Texas jalapenos. It was that good. I really did enjoy it. It is that good of a movie, that great of a comedy. I really do love how they made the teddy bear so realistic, especially in the fight scene with Mark Wahlberg. There was no music behind it. It was just so serious, <laughs> and then they make up. It's so cute. I love that part. Yeah, the teddy bear was very realistic. I absolutely adored it. They did a very, very good job. I'm sure y'all can agree, too. <laughs> now, next, Savages. I watched this movie last night. It was fucking phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. I love Oliver Stone. I always have. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Oliver Stone hasn't done much work like that, in my opinion, since about, like, Natural Born Killers. And I saw that movie, like, a long time ago. <laughs> I was still, like, probably in Pampers when that movie came out, I think. No? I think I might have just gotten out of my Pampers when that movie came out. <laughs> but it was great. It was finally something different, you know? Finally, they weren't they weren't making a movie that was already made. It wasn't a remake. Don't get me wrong. There were plenty of movies that had to do with drug cartel and marijuana and everything. But this movie was great. I really did love it. It was different for once. Again, <laughs> um, Texas Jalapenos, 10. Yeah, I'm going that far. And I do suggest it, especially if you like action films. A lot of people are surprised that I'd be into it, but I, just because I'm a girl and I watch certain things and I like cute things, you know, like little teddy bears. <laughs> of course, I'm like, I'm going to watch Savages. I mean, I love shit like that. I love action movies. And I'm sure some girls would enjoy this movie too. I mean, you see a lot of good looking boys, you know, some very steamy sex scenes. Overall, everything was perfect. The music, Salma Hayek was the shit. Uh, Blake Lively, she, she did a really good job. I... I was actually kind of surprised because she's always done that cute little girl next door kind of thing, you know? And uh, I wasn't expecting Mel Hurst to be in the movie either. The whole time I saw his movie in the credits, I'm like, where is he? Where, where is he going to come up at? And I finally saw him. I'm like, all right, the obvious pothead, hacker. <laughs> it was good, though. I really did like this movie. It was amazing. And well, that's it for my movie reviews. Um, Next, I'm going to be waiting. I'm so, my heart's going crazy over this movie that's going to be coming out. I, I don't know if it's going to hit theaters, but we'll see. But it's by Harmony Corinne. If you don't know who Harmony Corinne is, you need to do some IMDb searching. He is a very beautiful, grotesque, fascinating director. I My sister got me hooked on him. And it's pretty much about these girls who... Uh, rob a grocery store or something like that and then uh, to get out of jail there was like a drug dealer or something I don't mean to be so confused on the plot but I know there's a drug dealer and he gets them out and he pretty much has them like sell their bodies and do a lot of fucked up shit but as far as the cast goes and why I think it could hit theaters or it could not has James Franco Vanessa Hudgens and um, Selena Gomez and they all have white trash names. It's going to be great. I can't wait. But until then, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do more movie reviews. But we'll see what comes out. And then I'll see you later. Bye.